Lights on program is Sergeant Tony Molina from the Chula Vista Police Department. Good morning to you, Sergeant. Good morning, Paul. Well, tell us about the program, Lights On. What is it? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I just want you to know you have my vote for your uh, weather forecast this morning. But <laughs> Thank this you. This is the last rain. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank so, you. yeah, so Lights On, actually, uh, the name of the program um, came out of a, a, a Minneapolis-based uh, nonprofit group uh, called Micro Grants, uh, and what a what an amazing program! It was cool to see that agencies here, ourselves, um, San Diego PD, National City, were already looking into trying to do something like this. When you know, when uh, we all came across this great and amazing program, but basically, it's another tool that we have. It doesn't change uh, policing in the sense of officers looking for dangers, looking for things that they need to interact or um, you know step in on. But it gives them another tool now to to maybe make a difference in someone's life and help them get things back on track, especially when it has to do with their vehicles. All right. So, for instance, uh, this happened to me just last week. I'm driving to work, and all of a sudden, I go, "Boy, it, it's it's not as illuminated as it used to be." And sure enough, my left headlight was out. Technically, I could have been pulled over for that. How would under the lights out program, if I were pulled over, how would that? Tr uh, how would that stop go? Sure. And so first of all, a lot of people don't think, oh, that's not a big deal. A lights out. You still have one on. But look at this rain we've been dealing with oh. and, and stuff going on with traffic. A lot of times you might look in that lane to the right of you to make that lane change. And you see one headlight can make a big difference if it's out. Uh, it, it could be very dangerous. So in this case, if an officer notices that and they pull you over, right, they have a legal reason to pull you over they can now they have now have that option so let's say they're speaking with you and they're realizing okay the look on your face might tell them getting a you know getting a fix it ticket now having to pay not only for to fix that repair but also the fees that go along with the ticket um instead the officer can hand them a voucher that's good for up to 250 dollars. they can take it to a, a repair shop that's part of this program so um, any repair shop and these are building by the way but any repair shop that are that are participating in this, um, that person will now know to go to that repair shop, get the um, you know the repairs that they need, and then basically be back out on the road in, in a safe manner. And that would spare you the uh, cost of of replacing the headlight. So obviously, a big part of this equation are the are the repair shops that are working in unison with you. Do you want to do a shout out? Yeah, absolutely. So I could tell you about the ones here. Let me actually pull this up here. But we have uh, four in Chula Vista in particular. And again, we're hoping to build this. People can go on the Lights On uh, website to actually um, put their name in the hat if they want to help out with this, uh, businesses. Uh, so right now we have Mike's Auto Repair and Smog in 300 East Street in Chula Vista. Bonita Point Auto Care at 1495 East Stage. VMG Auto Services at 1502 Broadway and Bonita Valley Auto Care at 3995 Bonita Road. And again, what a great way for our officers to be able to interact and connect with people, drivers who might be freaked out about having gotten pulled over, and then get that unexpected um, bit of help from the officer that they weren't expecting. We're looking at video of, I assume, was yesterday's press conference. How'd that go? I, it went great. you know, and it, gave the opportunities for, for our three agencies, National City PD, San Diego PD, and ourselves, um, the opportunity to talk about what this is about. Um, and also, you know, um, let people know this is starting uh, around April 1st is when we believe we'll have the vouchers ready to go. But yeah, what a, what a great bit of news that we're able to share with people. So now, is this just gonna be headlights only or is it gonna be any kind of uh, repair that requires that you know, if you're dragging a bumper or something, I, I you know, I don't know cars all that well, but is this for a broken muffler too, or is it just for headlights? So keep in mind, the vouchers for two hundred and fifty dollars. This is primarily for equipment violations. Typically, it's going to be lighting, like brake lights, um, signal lights, Got it. Um, headlights. Obviously, very dangerous. But there is a two hundred and fifty dollar uh, cap, if you will, and it's not money that's handed. It's a voucher. So what happens is when they go to the repair shop. Anything up to $250 is covered. Anything after that, the person would be responsible for. But if you think just about the monetary amount alone, it's geared towards um, you know your typical equipment violations having to do with lighting, things like that. All right, well, uh, we're gonna call it a conversation. My esteemed colleague, Lauren Finney, just wants to wish you a great day and, and uh, 
uh, I, we hope this program is a big success. You know, if I'm Thank a you. kid. Have a good day, Tony. Thanks, Lauren. Have a good one, Paul. All right.